Hey everyone, I'm here with my grandson Decker. Decker, you want to say hi? What's up? You want to tell people how old you are? Seven. Seven. And Decker, uh, have you been going to school or have you been homeschooled? Homeschooled. Homeschooled during this pandemic. And you know, one of the things that we've talked a lot about during this pandemic, right, is washing our hands all the time. Yep. And, and do you know, sort of know how long you're supposed to wash your hands for? Yeah, one minute, and some people would even say 20 seconds, and some people say you wash them and you do the alphabet, and some people, you know, you gotta wash your hands like this and be really careful about it and wash them all the time to keep us safe. Well, in Jesus' day, they not only washed their hands, they washed their feet. And you know why that was? They're dirty. That's right, because they would walk on the streets, and they didn't have paved streets or sidewalks like we have. They walked on dirt streets, and you know what else walked on those streets? Animals. And you know what animals do when they're walking on streets? Oh. They poop and they pee. And so people would walk on these roads. Wait, they didn't see the poop? No, sometimes they wouldn't see it. Just kind of like if you've ever stepped in dog poop. Like, Yep, exactly. That's what happens. I have not. And so when you go into it, so I know like for you guys at your house, when you get in the house, your mommy wants you to take your shoes off, right? Because you don't want to get mud all over the floor or dirt. So in Jesus' day, when people would go in to the house, somebody would have to wash their feet for them. And they would have to wash out all of that poop and all of that urine and all of that icky stuff. Never and eat so I thought, yellow snow cone. All right, never eat yellow snow cone. So here's what I thought we'd do. I thought that we would show people how this works. I'm going to have Decker wash my feet for me. What do you think? Nothing. Are you sure? Yes. You're sure? Uh, how about if I wash your feet? Yes. That's All right, I can do that. You want to take your sock off? All right, so I'm going to just, while I do this, I'm going to tell you why why feet washing was important. And it was a disgusting job. Nobody wanted to do it. And uh, so kind of the lowest of the low would do it. And they would, they actually had a basin of water and they would wash feet, right? And you'd have to get in and... Decker doesn't have any toe hair yet, but you have to get it all off the toes and out of the toenails and get their feet washed. Curse my very ticklish feet! So, one day, the day before Jesus was crucified, Can I put yep, he started washing the feet of his disciples. And the disciples were horrified because only the lowest of the low would do that. Here it is, their teacher washing their feet. And they said, Jesus, why are you doing this? And Jesus said, this is what love looks like. And because I'm Jesus. And because I'm Jesus. And he said, it's to serve other people. And this is, a, a, this is a picture of what it looks like to serve other people, to love other people. And so to wash other people's feet, we might not wash their feet anymore, but we might help them when they're in need. We might uh, help mom and dad clean up the house. We might help a friend at school. Uh, moms and dads, we might help people at work. We they're might all... just wash our feet with the sink. Well, you could wash your feet in the sink, but I'm not sure your, your parents would think that was a good idea. But what, as long as your feet are clean, right? We always do that. Every, so, every day. so what Jesus wants us to do is to serve others. That's why he washed feet. And when we help other people, that's what love looks like. And that's what Monday Thursday is all about. Decker, can you say goodbye? Thank you, Decker. Opposite of stuff.